Hi there, Mark here with another Yuhi Zebra video for ADSR. Today I'm going to show you the main section here, the output section, and the effects section here. I'm not going to go over each effect, I would advise you just to read the manual for that. There's just too many parameters and it would take hours and I just don't have that kind of time in these videos. And anyway, they're pretty self-explanatory, reverb, delay, compression and stuff, but they're all well documented in the video. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the address there, so you don't miss any future videos. Now, let's get straight into it. It's very easy to understand. We've got four lanes. They're all exactly the same. So what we have, if we have oscillator one here, let's just tune that by a couple of octaves so it's not as high and as annoying so we have and I'll just turn all of this stuff off okay so we have oscillator one coming into the main channel if you click where it says main this is basically your bus select you'll see you've got main bus one and bus two when you select main it means the signal coming in here or the signal that's going through main will be processed here in the effects lane, the far left lane. If you select bus one, like this one, it will be here, bus one, and bus two will be here. So anything, bus one goes to this one here, bus two goes to the far right. So main left, bus one center, far right, uh, bus two far right. And I shall show you what I mean by that now. So oscillator one's coming into the main. So if I turn the reverb on, you'll hear reverb. Pretty simple. If I turn oscillator 1 off, turn oscillator 2 on, it's going into bus 1, you'll hear, you'll hear it, and then when I turn the delay on, you'll hear it playing the, now if I put the reverb on, listen what happens. So as you can hear, the reverb doesn't affect oscillator 2 because it's going to bus 1, it's this one, so the delay will affect it when I turn it on. is working there. And the same again, if I put oscillator 3 on, the reverb here won't affect it, the delay won't affect it. But if I turn the delay on here, you'll hear it delaying. Pretty self-explanatory that I thought. Now as we come down the, the lane here, we have a mute button here. Again, put it on, you mute it. Here we have a panning button. And here we have a modulation parameter for the panning. So if I was to use LFO for the panning, Here, the LFO one is modulating the panning there. Now, oscillator one's coming through here and it's being affected by envelope one. So, if I press play and change the envelope one settings, you'll hear it being changed. However, I can select gate. Now, what gate does it's a slightly smoothed on and off trigger whenever the note's played or released. So, let's have a listen. You can hear the difference. It's barely affecting the original source sound. Basically, you've got more control with envelope. So that's what I would advise you to use. But you can have envelope 2. I can set envelope 2 to a really long attack, decay, sustain and release. So as you can see, pretty easy to understand. Then we've got volume and we've got a modulation parameter for volume as well. So we could modulate the volume with an LFO if we wanted to. Okay, so that's 
So that's relatively easy to understand. And of course you can have all three on, or all four on if you want. They're all going to different buses, so they'll all be affected differently. Okay, hope you understood that. Next section I'm going to explain in this video is the effects section. Again, I'm not going to go through all the effects. I'm just going to tell you what goes on here. So, bypass, I'm pretty sure you understand what that means. All effects bypass, pretty easy. Now, the output is the overall volume of everything that's coming in. Basically what it does, it sums master, it sums the master plus the returning one, two signals. So it just sums them up really. It can't be modulated, but it does accept MIDI controls. If you right click on it, MIDI learn and move something, you can do that and you can MIDI on learn as well. Master, that's the output level for the left hand lane. So whatever's coming in here, it won't affect these two. Return 1 and 2, basically, it's the output for the centre and right-hand lanes, like you can see here. It's pretty easy to understand. So that's a mix of all three of them. Then you've got the two send buttons here. What they do is they take whatever's coming into the master lane and route the, unprocessed, or the unprocessed signal to the return 1 and 2 lanes, respectively. So, we've got this, we'll turn that off, we'll turn these off. So what we've got, we'll put the sends down. So we've got the oscillator coming into the master level, the master lane. If I turn send one up, it will send it to this delay. Let's just turn that up, so. Now obviously you don't hear it working by the, because the the return, i.e. the level of this track, has to be up, as with the other one. So if you listen now, so what it's doing is the signal that's coming in here, the more we send this, it's sending the unprocessed. So even if there's a reverb on here, it's sending the signal before it hits the reverb into this lane. Send 2 does exactly the same. Pretty easy to understand, I think. And just a quick overview. We've got a reverb. We've got delays. We have modulation effects, chorus, porous, and phaser. We have shapers, which is kind of distortion. We have mixers, again, where you can mix effects together, same as the mixer up here. We have compressors, ring modulation, EQ, and filters, and the SB3. So that's pretty much it. That pretty much covers everything. Look in the manual for all the details on these effects. The parameters are just far too many to go over in a short video like this. But I hope you now understand this main section and the effects section a little bit better. Hope you learned something from this. And please don't forget to subscribe to www.zebratutorials.com so you don't miss any of our subscriber videos, of which there's one every week, which is not in the public domain. So please sign up for that. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.